Some years ago, I picked up a MX-10-159 communications terminal. That was used as part of the MSC-64 satellite communication system to send and receive traffic. The system's been sitting around the shop for about 10 years until I finally decided on doing something with it. The idea was to take this terminal and be able to use it for amateur radio teletype. The problem is that the terminal only speaks 8-bit ASCII, and ham radio teletype is 5-bit Bode code. So, an external box or processor has to be put together to translate between Bode and ASCII so that the two systems can work together. And with Bode being only 5 bits, you can't represent any more than 32 characters. So, Bode uses two sets of codes, one for letters and a second for numbers. So you have to be able to differentiate between letters and numbers. The processor has three cards that do the majority of the work. There's also a character generator card and an interface card that's on the processor. The teletype data hits the first UR on the receive board and is converted into a parallel word. That word is used to feed the numbers letter select logic and also the addresses on the ROMs that do the conversion from Bode to ASCII. The output of the ROMs feeds the second UART on the TX board, and that's what provides the ASCII output that's fed to the MX terminal. There is also a test message generator. That's the card with the blinking green light. When data is received, you'll see the data light flash, and then the two lights on the very end show whether it is the ROM selected for numbers or letters. Letters is the top light, and when numbers are selected, you'll see the bottom light flash on. With the processor running, there's no issues in converting the 5-bit Bode into an 8-bit ASCII code that the terminal understands. That's including the logic that converts between the two lookup tables between letters and numbers. Just above the processor chassis is the control. You could select whether you're running in teletype stop in which case it's doing nothing or gen which puts it in the character or test generator in which case then it displays numbers letters and the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog just above the control switch is the tu and that's just a standard dovetron tu And with that all together, that's the entire system. Probably the next step will be working in a system to uh, encode data from the keyboard and send it out to the TU. But that's going to take a little bit more work.